Hi everyone, it's Tandy. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I'm super duper excited because I'm going to be showing y'all the iOS version of PDF Element. PDF Element is the easiest way to read, edit, fill, and annotate PDF documents from iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. PDF Element is an all-in-one PDF app that helps you take control of your PDFs like never before. Without any further ado, let's get on with today's video. So to demonstrate this app, I'm going to be using my 2020 iPad Air 4 and Apple Pencil. PDF Element Pro can be easily downloaded from the App Store. Now let's get into the demonstration. So I'm first going to open the app and I'm going to hit the plus button at the bottom right corner. And then I'm going to choose files and import a file from my Apple files. Just like that, it is now imported into PDF Element Pro. So I'm going to start off by hitting this button in the top middle that has a T on it. By clicking that, all of the text fields become editable and I can easily and seamlessly edit all of the text in this PDF. So for example, if I just click on it, select edit, I can type new things and I can backspace things and completely edit all of the text fields. By clicking the pen button on the top left, I can do a lot more. Um, by clicking this highlighted T, I can highlight parts of this text. I can even change the color of the highlight using the preset colors, or I can even create more colors using this color wheel. I can also strike through text by selecting the S with a dash through it, just like that. And I can even change the color of the strike through by using some of the preset colors or creating another one using the color wheel. I can also underline text by clicking the U with the underline. And I can also change the color of the underline using the preset colors, or I can make one with the color wheel as well. This app is also compatible with the Apple Pencil, so I can do everything I just did using my Apple Pencil. Two more cool features of this app are the text callout and the sticky note option. A text callout allows you to point an arrow to a specific part of the text and write a little comment about it. Let me show you. So by clicking on the text callout and selecting the part that I want to call out, it points an arrow to it and I can type something and just like that, I have a text call out. Um, another cool feature is the sticky note. To do that, you're going to click the sticky note here and then you tap anywhere on the page um, to add the note. So I can put it right here and I can just type something like testing and a few dots and I can even change the color of the sticky note. And anytime I click on that note again um, and select note, I can see what I wrote on that note. I can also edit the way that I view the document. By clicking the book icon on the top right corner, I can change the view settings. Right now, um, my scroll direction is a vertical, which means that in order for me to get to the next page, I have to scroll vertically. But I can also change the scroll direction to horizontal, which means in order to get to the next page, I have to scroll horizontally, just like this. I can also edit the brightness, and I can also choose whether to enable or disable scrolling. Right now, scrolling is enabled, which means that I can easily just do this to get between pages. But if I disable the scrolling, it does take a little bit of a harder scroll to get to the next page. You can only see one page at the time. However, if you click the book icon again and you have enable scrolling disabled, you can actually enable this other setting called two pages view, which allows you to see two pages at the exact same time, kind of like you're reading a book. You can also choose this other setting to keep the iPad awake. PDF Element is also compatible with dark mode. If you go into your iPad settings and select display and brightness, you can choose whether you want your iPad to be in light mode or dark mode. By selecting dark mode, it makes your iPad a little darker and it is a bit easier on the eyes. And then when you go into PDF Element, you will see that it has also adapted and is now in dark mode as well. You can also make signatures using PDF Element. So to do that, you're going to click the plus button on the bottom right corner, and I'm just going to create a PDF, but you could also use a template or a file that you have on your computer 
or iPad. Um, and then I'm just going to select blank. And then I'm going to select this pen button up top. Using my Apple Pencil, I'm going to select this icon here and select create signature. And then I can make a signature. I can hit done and it has made my signature for me and I can completely edit the size. I can make it really big, I can make it really small and I'm able to move it anywhere on the document. You can also fill and sign forms using PDF Element. So right now I've got a job application form file and I can edit any of these form fields quite easily by just tapping on them and then it pulls up my keyboard and I can just type anything and I can even use the buttons just like that and I can use this drop down menu here and basically just type anything I want and I can also sign the form by using the signature so to do that I'm going to click the pen icon then I'm going to select this pen here and then as you guys can see it had my signature saved from before and I can just tap on that and easily put it into the file and I can move it wherever I would like to put it. Overall, I really enjoyed using the iOS version of PDF Element. I loved all the features that it has to offer and I can definitely agree that it is the easiest way to read, edit, fill, and annotate PDF documents on iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Unfortunately, you guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope y'all enjoyed me showing y'all the iOS version of PDF Element. Again, a big thank you to Wondershare for sponsoring today's video. Please make sure to check out the links in the description box down below so you can get PDF Element for yourself. If you enjoyed today's video, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next week. Bye!